Hey guys, um, in today's video, we are going to be covering fishing. Fishing from beginning to end. So, first things first, you set up. You go to the store, you buy a rod. So, here yeah, I have a couple rods. I have a push button. And I have, well, this is to be a spinner. These are spinners. For beginners, I would recommend, sorry, let me get it out here, this one. Simple, Zibco, push button. My opinion, push buttons are the easiest to use. Zeb Zebco, to this rod, is a very great rod. Very great quality and such. Now what I have rigged up on it right now is what many of you might call jerk bait. I think that's what this is anyways. Now, once you go to the store, you're going to be like, oh wait, what lures do I buy? Well, let me tell you. What are you going for? If you're going for bad stuff like Jerk baits and like bass lures, like worms and such, are really good if you're going for trout. Power bait works really well, and the stuff it depends on what you're going for. Worms work well for just about everything. If we're going out for carp, maybe think about corn, do a little bit more research into that. Shoes, so. Your line, your reel, that's kind of goes over. How you cast the push button is there's two ways. The way I like to do it is when you throw it, when you get kind of to the point where you want to release, kind of when it's aiming forward, you just press the button. And the way most people cast it is they go back, they hold down the button. And then when they cast, they let go. I don't really like it that way. I don't know, it's just my preferable thing. If you want to look up how to cast, I suggest looking up a video on that. So, now that say, you're like, okay, got my stuff from the store. Right. Now you're going to go out how to actually fish. So, there's uh, plenty of videos online that show you how to work a jerk bait, how to do, like, how to rig up worms and stuff. Those videos will kind of get you going. This is fishing beginning to end. This is the journey almost. So, for lures, most basic works well is a straight retrieve for some lures for like swim bait you're gonna kind of want to move the rod like back and forth kind of like that twitching there's multiple ways to work a lure now if you're bobber fishing with <coughs> bobber say with like a weight and then worm cast it out wait it and when you have a fish how to set the hook you wait for the bobber to go completely under you yank it up typically and then you start reeling. Now, there's multiple different ways to fish for multiple different fish. For, like, say, pike. I've never actually gone out fishing for pike, but my stepfather has. And I've seen videos on it. Now, keep in mind, take what I have to say with a grain of salt. I don't really know. But for pike, cast it out lures. Or you could cast out, say, like a live bluegill and they'll bite. And also say for like trout, usually you'll cast out like a power bait or doe. And if you're going fly fishing, you're typically going fly fishing out for trout. There's multiple different ways. But now, now once you've gotten a hang of it and stuff, you're going to be like, okay, fishing. Now is the more advanced stuff. Now, say you're getting used to your push button, maybe invest in an open reel, spin reel. 
which were those other rods that I showed you. Learn how to cast those, work lures with those. Or or you could even invest in a bait caster. I don't have a bait caster here with me at my mom's. Learn how to work one of those. Learn how to work um rods and such. Learn how to work like learn how to work your lures, learn how to fish trout. And now one of the other tips is learn your lake. If you're going to learn your lake, well, know where to fish, where the fish are going to be, what time. Because sometimes people will be casting that for hours and they're just not in the right spot. There's no fish there because of, say, the temperature. Do research. If you go, like, online, they'll tell you what baits are working for that area. Do research before you just go out fishing. Another good thing to do is research. Just Research, 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 research your area, research the weather, like, research. And then, yeah, that's kind of fishing from start to end. Fishing's a very simple hobby. Once you get into it, you know what you're going out for, and practice makes perfect. My birthday was, well, not my birthday, but... But my birthday party was today, and we went out fishing. I didn't catch a single thing. Little do I know, it's because the trout in Tingley Beach don't go after lures. And I was using salmon egg power bait. I got maybe a bite or two on salmon egg power bait. But once I started casting out the garlic, I kept on getting bites and bites and bites. I cannot keep a, I cannot set a hook set for my life. That's just me. Learn. Research understand those are three tips and yeah that basically concludes this video fishing from start to end in just seven minutes and 15 16 uh, whatever seconds see you guys next time